Hi, I'm Dave McGinnis, and I'm going to talk today about uh, the difference between uh, a transverse focusing magnet we use in the lithium lens and, and a solenoid, just real simply and pretty fast. So in the antiproton source, we take antiprotons, which are very rare, and we want to focus them very quickly. So we use a lithium lens, and a lithium lens is basically a solid rod of lithium that's about uh, one centimeter across and about 10 centimeters long. And we run, about, uh, we run a ton of current through here, about one million amps. We run, through this, we run through the lens. And when the current runs along the lens, it makes a magnetic field that wraps around the current. So in the center, there's very little magnetic field. But as you go outside from the center, the magnetic field gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So it's strongest at the edges. Part of antiprotons that head right down the dead center of the lens don't get any kick. Antiprotons that are off to the side here get a kick in this direction, or if they're off to this side, they get a kick in this direction, and if they're on the top, they get a kick down, if they're in the bottom, kick up. So they all get pointed towards the center. This way we can keep the antiprotons from falling out of the machine. So that's what we use in the antiproton source. Now in other, a lot of places, like for example in the electron coolers that we use, we use solenoids. And a solenoid is very, is, is, looks similar to a lithium lens, but it has a different uh, function. A solenoid you can make out of a a uh, hollow tube, make this hollow, and around the solenoid you wrap turns of wire. The we run lots of current through these solenoid wires and they make a magnetic field now not perpendicular as here but along the axis of the solenoid. So particles that go uh, down the center are exactly aligned with the magnetic field, they won't get any kick. If a particle has a, a direction that's a little bit different from the magnetic field, it's going to get a kick. So if a particle has an angled position, has a little bit of an angle, then the particle will end up running around in a circle as it runs down the solenoid, and it will act kind of as a corkscrew. So it corkscrew itself down the solenoid, and that way it stays confined in the machine. So you kind of see these things with like around electron cooling, and you'll see this in the lithium lens for antiprotons. So I think that's as about as simple as we can get for trying to understand this.